Good morning, gamers! Today, I'm gonna show you how to build the best iron farm in Minecraft 1.19. This farm produces 300 iron per hour and is super easy to build. This farm takes less than 10 minutes to build and is a must-have in your Minecraft survival world. I am here with my assistant, Yellow, so let's jump right into it. Here are all the materials you'll need for the farm, so take a screenshot or look in the description for a full list of the materials you'll need. If you need a world download, lightmatic, or schematic, then join my Discord. First, build up five blocks. Then build a five by three ring. Once you've done that, follow the diagram in the top right on how to place the redstone. Once you're finished, turn the lever off and turn all the repeaters to four ticks. All right, next place ladders on the side of this pillar. Uh, you don't need a ladder clutch just like I did, but uh, <laughs> I felt fancy. And uh, then build this pattern on the top using eight blocks. Once that's done, place down three beds. In front of those beds, place down three composters, and on top of those composters, place down three trapdoors. Next, you're going to outline your structure in a 5x5 five five ring. Do this by placing stone blocks everywhere except for the last three squares. In these last three squares, place down a double chest and a piece of dirt. Then place two pieces of dirt on top of that dirt. Then angle yourself so then you can just perfectly place the trapdoors up against the dirt and then close those trapdoors. Once that's done, you can break the dirt. Now you'll want to surround almost the entire structure with glass. Right above this chest, place a hopper, and then on top of that hopper, place a chest. Once you've done that, then place a stair block up against the hopper so you can open the chest below. Then place a block on top of that stair. Next, place hoppers going into that chest, one on top of that chest, and then the rest of the hoppers going into that hopper on top of that chest. Now comes the easy part of just filling it in. Once you're finished, you can use the boat, and you can easily get down without taking any fall damage. The boat's also there in case a villager gets out and you need to trap them again. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to build up a little staircase for the villagers to go up and to jump into the beds. What I like to do is I like to add walls on the side here, and then add a staircase there, and just wait for some green particles, and give it a moment. Oh, there it is. The villagers are now uh, registering this as a village, so make sure you build this farm not very close to another village. And they'll just hop right in. And then you can hop in right with them. It's a little bit of a party. Place the blocks that you broke back, and then place trapdoors. Uh, sir, can you move? Sir, trap. Place trapdoors. Oh, come on, move. All right, place three trapdoors above there, and then you can just sneak over those composters, break this piston, and then place the piston back, and you're out. Easy peasy. Once you're back at the top, make a 7x7 seven seven square of walls going all the way around. And then place two walls in the center, just like so. And then you're going to want to place signs on that wall. And then you want to build up two blocks and place signs on top of those other signs. And once they're all placed, place your lava bucket in the center on top of that wall. And the lava will stay there and the signs won't burn. It's pretty cool. And then grab your water buckets and place them in the corners just like so. 
and you're really close to being done with the farm. All you have to do is break this dirt and uh, wait for nightfall. Alright gamers, it is now nighttime, so break that one ladder and break this trap door right here. Uh, you're going to prepare to bring the zombie in, so make sure you have your name tag already and named. So what you're going to want to do is build another staircase out of your temporary blocks, I'm using dirt, and uh, make a little platform for the zombie to get attracted to you, but for you to still be fine. Just like that. So, now go find yourself a zombie. I think I saw someone... I think I saw a zombie somewhere around here. Ah, there you are. Okay. Hey, buddy. All right. So we're gonna take him over to the to the to the machine, and uh, oh, he's a little slow. So we're gonna have to be patient with him. Come on. All right. So you go up these stairs and you break this dirt block, and uh, he'll slowly make his way up the stairs. Place a dirt block. Get out of the way. And look, he just climbs right in. He just does it. So then just place a dirt block up against the chest, hit him, and place a dirt block before he realizes what, <laughs> what's happening. Break a dirt block there, and then place a trap door, just like that. Now you can begin to remove this dirt. Uh, place your ladder back, and, uh, oh, don't forget to name him. We're naming him Billy Bob, because, uh, well, what other name does a zombie deserve? Just Billy Bob. And uh, break the rest of this dirt. You're almost done, just flick the lever on the back of this farm and the piston will begin to go up and down and up and down if you built everything correctly. You might have to wait a whole night cycle before a iron golem spawns, so be patient. And yeah, that's how you build the iron farm. It's that easy. Uh, hit like if you liked it and peace.